Then Jesus answered and said to her, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be to you as you desire. And her daughter was healed from that very hour. The word of God says, a woman, a Gentile Canaanite woman came and fell at the feet of Jesus. Now I want to imagine that by the time that this woman encountered Jesus, she had been so weary and so heavy laden from carrying this burden of a demon-possessed child who was heavily vexed by a demon. I want to believe that upon seeing Jesus Christ, she recognized him as the remedy to her problem. You see, when this woman said to Jesus Christ, have mercy on me, Lord, son of David, she was not merely making a geological link between David and Christ. She was also honoring him and acknowledging him as the Messiah. She recognized that the petition she was making matched the potential of the one to whom she was making the petition. Over and above persisting in her faith, the word of God, read it for yourself. It says, even after Christ was silent and indifferent to her cry, she worshipped. In verse 25, then she came and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. I want us to notice the consistency of this woman. She probably, you know, having acknowledged Christ as the Messiah, knew that even though he slay me, yet will I trust him. She probably made up in her mind that this God, he is a God of the mountains. He is also a God in the valleys. Therefore, even in my winter season, even in my season of being tried and tested, I will be persistent in my worship of him because my worship is not dependent on the gifts that he bestows on me. I will worship him by virtue of being God. You see, God does not need to prove himself to be God. By simply, you know, merely remaining silent and sitting on the throne of the universe, he is worthy of our worship. Even whether or not he bestows those gifts to us is irrelevant. God is worthy of worship. See, that is why even when we lose loved ones at funerals, you will hear us saying, God is good. Even when we lack in resources, you will hear us saying, God is good. It is because we acknowledge that Christ or oh God does not have to perform any miracle in order for us to acknowledge him as divine. 